and a police investigation now underway after at least half a dozen students at Seymour High School had to be rushed to the hospital this morning. News 8 Mario Boone is live outside the high school with the latest. Good afternoon, Mario. Well, this is a breaking story, as you said. And what we know right now, according to school leaders, multiple students became sick around 8.30 this morning after taking some type a vaping uh, pen device here at the school, and it happened again at Seymour High School, which is behind me here. We do have some video because moments after we arrived here, we saw two ambulances pull up to treat some of the sickened students. Now, according to other students inside the school who are friends of the victims, the kids were vaping liquid marijuana. Now, that is according to students, not confirmed by officials. At least two stay put orders given for the school while police brought in to use drug sniffing canines to sweep the entire building. Now, a moment ago, the superintendent told us uh, that he is taking this matter very seriously as a police investigation now underway. And we did talk to a uh, former student who lives just uh, next to the school. Listen to what she said. I guess it is alarming, especially because my little brother's he's graduating middle school this year and he's going to high school. And I don't want him to have to go to a high school that is starting to be that type of school. All right, back live here from the school. Now, we do plan to have much more on this developing story. I have been in touch all morning with the first selectman here in Seymour. We expect to get uh, more reaction from him. And school appears to be dismissing. We've seen a steady stream of students to begin to flow out of the building. We're going to try and talk to some of them as well and have much more on this developing story first on WTNH.com and then back here at 5 p.m. We are live from Seymour outside the high school. I'm Mario Boone, News 8.